Hey guys, I'm at the incredible Pacific Resort in Aitutaki, Rarotonga. My room is just up there and this is my view, the incredible Aitutaki Lagoon. It's so beautiful. Um, the water is just crystal clear and this place is literally paradise. While I've been here, I've been really lucky to go out on the water and do some fishing and I've made some friends with the locals, including um, Mike, one of the local fishermen, who's given me a block of fresh tuna. There's lots of tuna around here. And then I've gone up to the restaurant and they've given me some vegetables from their garden and some fresh coconuts have come from one of the trees just around here. So I thought I'd love to show you how to make one of the Cook Islands national dishes, hikamata, which is a raw fish dish. Um, it's actually one of my favorite dishes because of its um, freshness. So the most important part of this dish is of course the coconut milk. Now if you're back at home and you don't have access to fresh coconuts, you'll have to use coconut milk out of a can. But while I'm in the islands, I've got to make my own fresh coconut milk, eh? So I'm just grating the fresh coconut. You have to use a mature coconut where the flesh is quite firm, like this one. Doing it this way obviously requires quite a bit of effort, especially in this heat. It is so hot right now, it's about 35 degrees. But it's gonna be worth it. Nowadays, the locals have automatic machines where it grates it really fast and very efficiently, but um, yeah, I thought it'd be fun to do it like the good old days. Whew. I think that's about all I need. So to make our coconut milk, we need some coconut water. So this is another coconut, which we've, um, I've just broken open on the top, and you can see the coconut water's inside. Mm. Yum, that's pretty good too. So we'll mix a bit of this coconut water with the grated coconut. There we go. You just mix it around. And then what you need to do is get a clean cloth, like a muslin cloth or a tea towel or something, and pour in this coconut mixture. And then just squeeze out the fresh coconut milk. Squeeze it as hard as you can to get every little bit of goodness out. Try a little bit. Oh, that, my friends, is one taste sensation. Fresh coconut milk. I don't even know how to explain how good it is, but it's so sweet and creamy, a little bit floral. It is just divine. Next thing we need to do is cut up our fish. I like to cut it into chunks that are about one centimeter. And then we put the fish into a bowl, cut up some limes or lemons and squeeze the juice over. So you just have to toss the tuna for about a minute or so with the lime or lemon juice. And what the um, lime juice actually does is the acid from the lime juice just very lightly cooks the outside of the tuna um, yeah, with, with acid as opposed to cooking it with heat. I think for a fish like tuna, which has already got quite a soft um, flesh, you only want to do this for about a minute or so, but if you have a denser, um, firm, fleshed fish like Trevelli, you could always leave it for about 15-20 minutes. So all we've got to do now is chop up our vegetables, and don't forget the chilli for a little bit of heat. Of course, it's up to you how much you want to put in. At the very last minute, I like to add some fresh herbs like coriander. I know this isn't actually very traditional of this dish, but I just think adding fresh herbs to, to anything kind of just lifts everything. So you could use coriander, or you could use basil, you could use fresh parsley, maybe even a little bit of mint could be quite nice. So just finely chop some fresh herbs. All we've got to do now is add our fresh coconut milk. Mix it all around, and then season it to taste with some salt. Wow, look at how fresh, healthy, and delicious that looks. And of course, whenever you're cooking, whatever dish it is, you've got to taste it. Make sure that you've added just enough salt to bring all of those flavors alive. That's bang on. I've added the perfect amount of salt. Those flavors are singing. This is so, so delicious. It's fresh, tasty, vibrant. What Pacific food is all about. All we have to do is plate it up. And what better way to plate up 
than in a coconut bowl. Just look at the colour in this. And some of that leftover grated coconut makes a great garnish. And there you have it. Ikamata from the Cook Islands. That's one fresh, delicious dish. It's paradise in a bowl.